Welcome again to my Orchid Oasis. You're now getting to look behind the scenes of what's going on here. This is absolutely essential. Whenever you water your plants, what is in the water is important. So let me kind of show you my setup. I mean, this is like next level, quite frankly, but I'm kind of, as you can tell, I'm a little crazy with this stuff. So I want uh, reverse osmosis water. So what does that mean? If you just take water, out of your hose, there's all kinds of stuff in it. You know, there's all kinds of chlorine and calcium buildup and all kinds of various things inside just your natural municipal water. So what I did is I filled a tank here and it's full of, that looks gross. The bottom is greenish, but the water's pure. I don't know if you can see that, it's pure. So that's all reverse osmosis water, meaning it's pure water. Just like, like you would have under your sink, and to, you know, they make that little spigot that makes pure water. Same concept, except I'm filling up 250 gallons of that kind of water. So how in the heck do you do that? Well, this is a big industrial uh, reverse osmosis machine. It's no different than what is under your sink. It's just a lot bigger. So there is a pump that pumps water basically from the hose into this system. The system creates the pure water and then a blue line goes into the big tank. Uh, reverse osmosis water also kicks off a ton of wastewater. So the wastewater comes in, it comes out of here. So what I do is, is I have this little setup where uh, I have a pipe right here. So the excess water goes to the pipe and then the pipe goes and waters my plants and my yard and everything. So I am being environmentally conscious. So it goes to the tank and then when I turn my hose on and start spraying my orchids, the water comes out of the tank. It somehow, where's it go? So it goes up into this system here. This thing up here is called a dosatron. It is a fertilizer injector. Uh, so what happens is the water, the pure water at this point, the pure water goes up through this thingy and this thingy puts fertilizer into it. So if you look down here, it's, it has goes down to a bucket and then there's fertilizer in there. So it sucks up the fertilizer and it puts a predetermined amount into the water. So you can determine right like if you want a little bit or a lot or so now that newly that water that is pure except it's put is has exactly the kind of fertilizer and the right ratio in the water and I'll talk about fertilizer at a different time but there's a very specific mix I want to use and really that's key to almost everything but so then the water the fertilized pure water goes down in here and then it goes well, actually, it goes down into this pump, which, by the way, is so important. If you're an orchid grower that has a fair number of orchids and it takes a long time to water, buy a pump because the pump will increase the pressure of your water dramatically. And then you can, it's just a couple hundred bucks and it pumps this water out and it comes out of your hose like five times as fast and it makes things so much easier. So from the pump, it pumps everything to my hose that's way over there and then the hose squirts out pure water that's been fertilized exactly the way i want it to be it's getting pumped out at a fast pace and that is quite a setup i think you must admit